So yesterday evening we uh, sat down to eat dinner came back out to do our evening chores and we noticed Enzo was missing he wasn't at the uh, garage door like he always is we we looked and looked for hours no luck you know we put posts on facebook we put posts in our little town group um drove around we walked deep into the woods nothing no signs. I checked the trail camera, nothing. It's very tough to go through something like this. You know, he was a Christmas present. I mean, we've lost ducks, we've lost chickens, we've even lost a piglet. But when you lose, well, I'm not gonna say when you lose, I hope he comes back. You know, I'm gonna stay positive and hope he comes back today. Or when the shelter opens back up tomorrow and We'll give them a call. Checked on the compost pile. Looks like it, uh, it's gonna need some more nitrogen. Looks like it's stalled out at about uh, 110. So I'll add some more nitrogen to it today. Let's let these uh, ducks out. <laughs> Look at them. They're running. Come on, guys. Hopefully the sound of our homestead will draw Enzo back home. Our homestead is kind of down in a, a little holler and everything echoes and our homestead's pretty loud. I think I'll go ahead and get a start on the morning chores. We were up pretty late last night looking for Enzo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a jump on chores. I don't think Kaylee set her alarm, which is okay. We're up Extre extremely late last night looking for Enzo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a jump on him. Get him knocked out, get the chickens out. Collect duck eggs. Are you serious? How'd you get in there, huh? You saw water. We got a pond down there. A duck in heaven. Golly, and I gotta get you out. If you're wondering what we use for the ducks, for the water to play in and whatnot, we use uh, masonry bins. You can find them at Lowe's or Home Depot. These ones are about three bucks each. They're heavy duty plastic. Um, they hold a lot of water and they work perfect for ducks. You can uh, find them in the, uh, the mason section where they keep all the, uh, the bricks and the concrete. These work awesome. A lot better than kiddie pools and a lot more durable than kiddie pools. 
Who do you think, Hi Hi? Hi Hi approves. That's a hose. Visible thing. This is not hi hi, this is our other goose. Vicious. I know that hose is gonna get you. Look who it is! It's Mr. Enzo, he's back! Oh my god! Enzo is back! Oh my god! This is he I just looked up, he was there! Where have you been, buddy? Come here. Where have you been? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Where have you been, buddy? Huh? Where have you? Oh my God! Look at you. You got all kinds of stuff in your fur, but hey, that's okay. You're back. You must be hungry. <laughs> you must be hungry, buddy. Oh my God! <laughs> I knew you'd be back. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Wow, I'm speechless. I know he's even trying to play with Hi Hi. Look at you, buddy. You are back. Welcome back. You were missed. So get this water, Enzo. It's back to work, huh? <laughs> you are back. Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been, buddy? Crazy dog. Oh, the kids are gonna be so happy. What are you doing? Where have you been, buddy? Huh? Where have you been, bud? Where have you been? I can tell you were in the woods. Oh, I know. Welcome back, bud. I don't think Hazel missed you as much as we did. What did you go do? Huh? What are you doing, cat? So yesterday I went ahead and put staples along the bottom of the Premier One netting. What we're gonna do now is um, the piglets are soon going to be out in the paddock running around exploring so what we want to do is secure our premier one netting as best as possible um i'm going to use landscape staples these are i want to say nine gauge let me check real quick so i can get you that correct info Yes, they are nine gauge. They are made by a company called Pinnacle Merchantile. You can get these on Amazon. They're not expensive. Uh, got a box that came with a hundred. They're pretty, they're heavy duty. So what I'm gonna do is, with the fence off, of course, your bottom, your bottom, uh, line here on your netting is not electrified so i'm going to run staples to secure this netting so the piglets can get under it and get out now the netting we are using is poultry netting. So yeah, if you see, you lift up on it, this fence ain't going anywhere. Piglets will not be able to get up underneath it with their little noses and push up to get out. That's just not gonna happen. Um, plus with it being poultry netting, the bottom uh, squares are real small. So they're gonna learn real quick that this is their boundary and not to go near it. I think today will be the day that piglets come out to explore. We had one come out yesterday evening, as I said earlier. I think today will be the day they come out. So 
I put the stables in to secure the bottom so they can't push out on the bottom of the fencing. It'll keep them in. And that should do it. They should be trained pretty quick to the electric netting. So Caroline and I, we're gonna go give Harriet and Hannah some water, top off their barrel. We're gonna add some baguano to the compost pile. That seemed to be stalled out at about, I don't know, 110 degrees. So Caroline, we're gonna need this hose here. It'd be easier to turn it on after we drag it. What do you think? Hmm? You don't know? Well, it's lighter when there's no water in it. So, let's drag it first. The easiest way is just to keep pulling it past the livestock trailer and then come back with it. Pull! Oh. You wanna have the dance party? Daddy! I wouldn't do that. Welcome back, bud. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. <laughs> 